The American Legion and the Hopkinton Veteran Celebration Committee welcome you to Hopkinton's Memorial Day activities. We're standing here in front of Emma Green Cemetery in place of uh, one of three stones that the Legion put here 16, 17 years ago. And there's a reason for that. When uh, years ago, when the uh, Legion used to sponsor, the only was the only sponsor of the uh, Memorial Day event, we used to walk through the cemetery every road and pass by every veteran's grave to show respect for each individual veteran. And about the year 2004, we were doing the same at St. John's Cemetery, and we walked all the way down the hill and made a U-turn to start walking back towards the beginning of the cemetery, and I heard a collective groan from all those participating. Finally, Ralph Edwards Sr. spoke up uh, a thought that we were all thinking at the time. He says, we've got to do something different next year. So that summer, we bought these three stones, put them at the beginnings of the cemetery, and shortened our whole procedure uh, to make it uh, easier for everybody involved. So at this point, uh, we're going to start our ceremony here with the uh, laying of the wreath here, honoring all the veterans buried here in this cemetery. All right, sir. And salute. And two. No. Oh my God. And hut. Three dead. Ah. Send. Ah. Three round volley for a follow. Four. Four. Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire. Ready. Order. Ah. Well, this is a different Memorial Day for all of us with the coronavirus and the lockdown. And we pray to Almighty God that this coronavirus will end. We pray for a safe recovery for all those that have it. This Memorial Day and every Memorial Day in town, a special note of thanks and appreciation goes out to Michael Wayland and also, also all our veterans and all those that are currently serving in our armed services. Memorial Day, we honor all those U.S. men and women killed or missing in action in wars or conflicts. The words of our Lord at the Last Supper. Greater love has no man than this, that a man shall lay down his life for his friends. We honor our nation's war dead. Memorial Day is a twofold call to remember all those who have uh, endured and suffered and sacrificed in the past. It's a call to duty, to be mindful of our duties and responsibilities under God, to country, family, and neighbor. Memorial Day really means something. You know, the most successful revolution in the history of the world is the American Revolution. The values of our American Revolution, our liberty, equality, 
and uh, equal justice under the law. Now these values, uh, it just, um, it's the American idea. France gave to our country a beautiful, a beautiful uh, present uh, in honor of those, the American ideal, the American revolution, uh, the Statue of Liberty. And Lady, Lady, Lady Liberty holds up that flame, that torch of freedom for all the world to see. Now, people in our armed services, in the words of General Douglas MacArthur in 1962, his farewell speech when he was at West Point, reminded those cadets of the importance of our duty, our honor, and country. Uh, Douglas MacArthur said at one point, one of the world's noblest figures is the American soldier. Why? Because he, like the Statue of Liberty for Douglas MacArthur, represented the American ideal. In 1989, uh, the Europeans called the Annus Mirabilis, the wondrous year the communism fell in Eastern Europe and Russia, was phenomenal, it was basically bloodless. But where did it start and begin? Remember, it began in China, 1989, in Tiananmen Square, those brave uh, Chinese students wanted to throw off the shackles of communism. Remember that image of those students standing up uh, to the tanks of the, of the communist government. Um, you know what finally brought those tanks in and to crush those students? So when the students paraded in Tiananmen Square, uh, a, a paper mache statue of, uh, of the Statue of Liberty, that's what brought the tanks in and crushed those students. Uh, the Statue of Liberty and the American ideas. That's what we honor really on Memorial Day and those people that have died for them. So let us all pray. Almighty God and Lord of hosts, Look at the hearts of those for whom this holiday is not just a diversion, but a painful memory. Bless those whose dear ones have died. Let us pray and remember with compassion those who have given their lives uh, of lives in service of our country. Lord, hold our troops in your loving hands. Protect them as they protect us. Bless them and their families for the selfless acts they perform for us uh, not time of need. Heavenly Father, with a sober heart, we come before you on this Memorial Day. We pause for a moment to call to mind all the men and women who have died in the service of our country. Please look with mercy upon our brave and selfless brethren who did not shrink from their task but gave themselves completely to the defense of our nation, the cause of liberty justice, equality, and grant them all refreshment, light, and peace in your eternal, in your eternal kingdom. And we ask this through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may God bless you, and may God bless America. Detail, ten, put. Miss having the Girl Scouts helping us with it this year. Detail and salute. Port Pearls. Ready. A. Fire. Ready. A. Fire. Ready. Damn it. Aim. Fire. Present horse.
I'm Massachusetts Senate President Karen Spilka, and I'm here to let everybody know that every last Monday in May, we pause to honor our fallen heroes. And while our way of remembering and honoring this year may be different, what's important is that we take the time to say thank you to the tens of thousands across our Commonwealth who fought bravely in the name of our country. They are our sisters, our brothers, our fathers, our mothers, our relatives and our friends. Their sacrifices in service will never be forgotten and their memories will live on forever. From the Massachusetts State Senate, I want to thank all of those who choose to answer the call to duty and urge everyone to reflect on this solemn day, wishing all of your families a safe, healthy, and happy Memorial Day. Be well and take good care. And salute. And two. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. We are now engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who have gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. 
that we here, highly resolved those dead, shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birthplace of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. Abraham Lincoln, November 19th, 1863. Hello. First, I'd like to thank some wonderful groups that have been key in arranging this ceremony. I want to thank the Veterans Association for hosting the event, HCAM for filming it, and all the volunteers that worked so hard hosting this event. Thank you to all of you for taking the time to participate in this virtual ceremony on your holiday. Many of you have heard me say that Memorial Day is my favorite day here in Hopkinton. And how could it not be? It's pure American. However, this year we must dig even deeper into our hearts, rise above our own troubles and issues brought about by the virus and the shutdown, and hope that right now, all over our nation, just like us, people are coming together to pay their respects to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Memorial Day is truly an American holiday designed for us to put away our polit political and social ideologies to dismiss our petty differences and just be thankful for those who stood in harm's way to ensure our safety here at home. We live in an amazing country in an especially wonderful town. Hopkinton is a welcoming community endowed with open space, natural resources, facilities and programs to promote a well-educated and healthy community. We are admired all over the world because of our American spirit and that comes from our virtues of fair play sharing, giving, and love. In this time of uncertainty, I hope we don't forget the healing power of reflection and gratitude. Let us reflect on how we can honor the sacrifices of these great Americans by making our own sacrifices that will help us ensure a healthier country tomorrow. Let us be grateful for those whose past struggles endowed us with the freedoms that we can exercise today. These great people have set the bar of excellence by their hard work and dedication. We cannot let their sacrifices be in vain. Remembering their names and stories is crucial on Memorial Day. However, we can further honor their memories by committing ourselves to the selfless patriotism they have championed. Perhaps today, Memorial Day, can mark a shift for us by moving forward, guiding guided not by partisanship or nor fear, but by an appreciation and gratitude for the sacrifices committed to make this nation free. We must bring our town and our country together and take it upon ourselves to not only memorialize those that came before, but honor them by continuing their efforts to promote the virtuous American spirit that makes us the envy of all the world. Thank you very much and may God bless. I'm State Representative Carolyn Dykema. While we can't be together today as we usually are, I want to thank the Hopkinton Veterans and HCAM for hosting this virtual remembrance. It's important to join together as a community to properly recognize Memorial Day and those the holiday is intended to remember. Right now, we're at a unique and unprecedented time living through this pandemic. It's a time of great change and great uncertainty for all of us. But it's not the first time in our country's history that we faced a national challenge. We faced adversity many times as a nation, most notably during our great wars. From the American Revolution to Iraq and Afghanistan to all the conflicts in between, we've lived through remarkable hardship and struggle. And we've faced them and pressed on together. In those times, as we do now, we look for hope and inspiration in our heroes. And today is all about honoring those heroes who for almost 250 years have set aside their personal safety and the comfort of their families to serve others through their military duty. Today, we especially honor those for whom their service was their last act. There is truly nothing more noble than to sacrifice your life for the well-being of others. And it is those exceptional individuals 
who did just that, that we're honoring today on Memorial Day. It's always a great risk to step forward to serve in a time of war. The fallen soldiers that we honor today took that risk and paid dearly. But their memories live on and we take a moment here to reflect on their lives and their sacrifice. They were ordinary men and women who made extraordinary contributions to our country. Today, we thank them and all those who serve. You protect us and your commitment to service gives us great hope for the future. May God bless our veterans, all of you and our United States of America. Best wishes to all for a safe and healthy Memorial Day. Hi, I'm Bob Cloutier, the pastor for Care Ministry at Faith Community Church in Hopkinton. Memorial Day is a day when we stop to remember solemnly that since the founding of our nation, more than one and a quarter million Americans have died in the service of this country. These brave men and women made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of freedom, liberty, and the values that make our nation great. Indeed, we all owe these patriots a great debt of gratitude. I'm pleased that I've been asked to speak to God at this time on our behalf. And since we are also waging war against an insidious virus at this time, there are some other soldiers that I believe deserve our prayers. Now, instead of just watching a video screen, which we've been doing a lot of, I invite you to participate. You can join me in your hearts and you can speak aloud the names of people you know and care about when I prompt you. Let's pray. Father, we stop to remember and give thanks for the servicemen and women who helped protect and preserve our freedoms in the past, some paying the ultimate price of their lives. I encourage you where you are to speak their names aloud. We also stop to remember and give thanks for our servicemen and women around the world and their families who are sacrificing for us right now. I encourage you to speak their names aloud. Father, we now thank you for and ask you to protect and strengthen all medical workers on the front lines of this pandemic, including the National Guard. And once again, I encourage you to speak their names aloud. Father, we also ask you to protect and strengthen other essential workers who are serving us at this time. And I encourage you to speak their names aloud. Lord, sacrifice for the common good has been a key value in our nation. Give us all hearts to sacrifice on behalf of the vulnerable among us in perseverance, wisdom, and peace as we endure this pandemic. Continue to guide the research for effective treatments and vaccines so that there might be good results as soon as possible. I believe that you are good, powerful, and loving. You care deeply about the families who have lost loved ones in this pandemic and the many who are sick. Please comfort the grieving, heal the sick, and protect us all. Amen. We are the lucky ones. We are living the life that so many other men and women fought to preserve and defend. Today, we are honoring those heroes who gave their lives. Let us not forget, they served for those 
who were not able. They served for those who wished they could. And they served for those who would not. These men and women were motivated and united by certain convictions to enter our armed forces and battle evil and protect our country. They quickly learned that the circumstances of a battlefield can alter one's priorities. As the fear of death and self-preservation is replaced by unselfish acts of heroism and protection of others' lives over their own. Celebrating Memorial Day every year reaffirms our faith in our nation and our way of life. This holiday has evolved over time and like other annual celebrations, has strayed some from its humble beginnings. Decoration Day, as it was first named, began after the Civil War, and it was a solemn day of remembrance for those who gave their lives in battle. It was inspired by a group of Confederate Army widows as they were attending to their lost husband's graves. Compassionately, they decided to also place flowers on the barren and unattended graves of the fallen Union soldiers. Obviously, before photography, the gravestone itself was probably the most important physical reminder of a lost loved one. And decorating the grave and caring for the stone became a family ritual, aiding in the grieving process. As it was in 1866, and again in 2020, many veterans' graves have also become unattended. As time passes, and families relocate, our cemeteries now hold many forgotten veterans. Our nation takes pride in honoring the unknown soldiers, so let's not overlook the forgotten veteran. The simple act of placing a flower at an old weathered stone that bears the chiseled name of a young soldier is the true spirit of Memorial Day. Our town of Hopkinton has been blessed with so many brave men and women willing to defend our freedom. May the souls of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice rest in peace and feel the love and appreciation demonstrated by our community now and forever. God bless America. This ceremony will conclude with a rifle salute the playing of taps, and the raising of the flag from half-mast to the top of the pole. Present, boom.